Well, where the heck have you been? <laughs> ah. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you something. I have been sick with the uh, COVID. Yeah, it got me and it got me good. And I tried to avoid it like the black plague, but it found me. It had my name on it and it came searching and seeking around those corners. I made a good run for it, but I wasn't fast enough. And yes, it got a hold of me and it took me down for the count. Um, I feel pretty good right now. Um, I was a lot tired. I'm, I'm still a little bit tired, I'm still a little bit sluggish. And I think you could hear it in my voice that it still has a grip on me. But the contagious stage of it has uh, left the building. And that is the important part. I feel good. You know, um, so yeah, I decided today would be the day to get, you know, get back to normal everyday living. I've been taking it slow, super slow, um, doing what I can, when I can, and doing what I can. Uh, yeah, doing what I can, when I can, and taking lots of breaks lots of breaks so um but i've gotten a lot accomplished too um but um i have been i was laid up for a few days um let me see it hit me thursday night september 8th and when i woke up in the morning i didn't even know my name the ninth friday um, and it, it laid me up for all of Friday and all of Saturday, um, and all of Sunday. And then Monday I forced myself to get up and I did a little bit of, um, you know, consolidating or cleaning, like, you know, getting rid of clothes and things that I'm just not using anymore, bed sheets and stuff like that. So, but I would take my breaks, take my breaks, do everything slow, and then I would do a little more and take a break and do a little more and take a break, and then I quit. And then the, tomorrow was another day. And so we did, we did the same thing. I was able to go a little bit further and do a little bit more. And um, yeah, so it's the first time I missed four days of work. I haven't missed four days of work for about 10 to 15 years. This is the first time in about 10 to 15 years that I have missed four days of work. Um, what are you gonna do, right? I said to myself, I wasn't gonna force myself to get better or you know, get back to, I was just going to let it run its course and just be and do whatever it was going to be and do. So here I am back at it. I'm feeling like, I don't, I wouldn't say a million bucks, but I would say uh, probably 999,000 bucks. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty all right right now. All right, so whilst I was sick, one of the things that I could not do, no matter how much I wanted to, was read. I said to myself, ah, this isn't going to be so bad. I'll just get a little, you know, I'll just get a lot of reading done. And that was not the case. I slept and slept and slept and slept and I am not a sleeper if that sun is shining or it is the middle of the day you won't find me sleeping or napping however that is all I did was sleep and sleep and sleep um so 
I got no reading done. No reading. And it wasn't until the third day, Sunday, that I was able to open my eyes and say, you know, I'm a little bit bored just lying here, but I feel like crud. But I still want to do something, so I decided I was going to entertain my mind, and my brain started to think, what does, um, what does now King Charles see in Camilla? And I know that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and um, perhaps she's a very fun lady. Perhaps Camilla is a very fun lady fun lady and she's enjoyable to be around so my brain was there's something there obviously right he wouldn't have chased her all this time so my brain got to thinking well what is it that is there and then that led into um what did that lead into don't ask me why but it led into elizabeth taylor and her eight marriages um and then that led into Debbie Reynolds being married to Eddie Fisher, who is the father of Carrie Fisher and Todd Fisher. And also, um, I don't know what number husband it is to Elizabeth Taylor, but Elizabeth and Debbie were best friends. And when Elizabeth's husband, Mike Todd, passed away in an uh, airplane accident um eddie came back in town and rushed right over to elizabeth's house to console her meanwhile good old debbie has elizabeth's children back at debbie and eddie's house so that that would be one last thing elizabeth would have to worry about and that's what best friends do right well i guess they also take your man because Eddie ended up divorcing Debbie and marrying um, Elizabeth. And I just thought, what goes on here? What in the world goes on here? And so naturally, um, that led into an interview with Debbie, who I found to be lovely. And I said to myself, I need to know more about her because she knows how to forgive. She knows how to grow. She knows how to laugh. She knows how to take bad situations and turn them around. Um, and she just seems to be a very well-rounded human being and somebody that I would and could very much um, like. And so I said, you know, I have a couple of Audible credits still available and she's saying she wrote you know two books or more so i downloaded two of her books one of them i got through in a day debbie reynolds my life um i got through that book yes in a day and then the second one uh unsinkable that one took me a solid week to to digest there's like 80 some chapters to this even though the chapters aren't long it's still a lot of material that she covers in this book um and my end um review of these two books is lovely it was lovely it was a good time i'm glad that i I'm glad that I read them, and it was narrated by her, both books, and uh, she has taught me so much, and she made me laugh, and she took me back into a time where it must have been very lovely to be a 16-year-old schoolgirl who was also on the set of MGM Studios or Warner Brothers or um, Metro Goldwyn and just... You know, getting paid decent money, meeting other actors and actresses, and um, just having the time of her life. Um, 
and then meeting the man of her dreams and then marrying him and having a family with him and then having him cheat on her and then finding another husband who was extremely rich only to find out he burned through his entire fortune and um, about 10 million of hers, which she had to work to pay back. Um, then married for the third time to the biggest dirt bag anybody could ever have married. Um, he was just a big troublemaker. And she survived all of that and she lived to tell about it. And um, yeah, they were very, I love my memoirs and autobiographies and biographies. So yeah, this was right up my alley. And um, I, yeah, I didn't know anything about her, but now I do. And it's ironic because about three years ago, I read Penny Marshall's book, My Mother Was Nuts, and that book had me in stitches. I just found that book hilarious. Um, and I come to find out that Penny Marshall, who played Laverne DeFazio on Laverne and Shirley, in real life was best friends with Carrie Fisher, who is Debbie Reynolds' first um, born daughter, and also... I read Carrie's two books. Um, what are the names of those? Wishful Drinking, and I don't remember what the other one was, but um, yeah, both of those books were very fun and funny. And then I come to find out that Carrie and Penny were best friends, and Carrie was married to Paul Simon, of Simon and Garfunkel and Penny was dating Garfunkel which is odd that that would you know happen but anyways I read Carrie Fisher's I read Penny Marshall's so what was there left for me to do but read Debbie Reynolds and all three of these ladies are super funny and super fun um so yeah, um, sad that I got sick, but happy that I was able to take advantage of the downtime and um, get to know Debbie Reynolds a little bit better because I thoroughly enjoyed her two, her two books. And um, yeah, so there's that. If it's, I guess my whole point of this is it's not she is not somebody I would have just picked out of the woodwork and said yeah let me find out about her but it was through a series of events or a chain of events that I landed you know my mark on her so what I'm trying to say is sometimes it's good to go outside of your um, natural way of thinking or doing things and try something a little different because you just never know. I am extremely um, happy that I read these two books and that I got to know her a little bit better and her life story a little bit better. And now when I am faced with um, harder times or more difficult times, because of her, she will be just one more person that helps me to get through an undesirable situation um yeah these strong funny women you know show me the way they paved the way for me they um let me know brighter days are ahead and that sun is gonna shine brighter than ever and we are going to be able to get through whatever it is that life throws at us because my gosh if they can do that then I can certainly do whatever it is that I have to do. So there's that. Now, I wouldn't wanna let this video end without bringing attention to a new booktube channel. Um, I want to bring attention to Danny with a Y, Marie Reads. Danny Marie Reads, and I'm going to link her channel in the description if you want to head on over to her channel and give her a subscribe that would be totally awesome 
also while you're at it why not give this uh, channel a subscribe this video a like and make sure that your bell notifications are turned on so that I can begin once again to bring you fun original um, book book content my favorite year wait well my favorite season of the year is coming my favorite holiday i should say my favorite there we go holiday of the year is coming halloween and so i'm gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna do a little bit of uh decorating and i'm gonna get my my book shop ceramic out which glows or lights up i should say it lights up i'm going to take this out of the box today and we're going to see what it does and then i will show you in the next video what it looks like unboxed so that's that that's that i was mentioned in some videos to do some tags and so i am going to get to those pretty um quick in the near future and also I would like to say a special thanks to my buddy Michael Romeo for reaching out and making sure that I was okay his kindness and his um, caring does not go unnoticed thank you so much buddy that means the world to me and I appreciate your gesture and you more than you will ever know. So also, if you have a minute, go over to his channel and hook him up with some subscribes. <laughs> Until my next video, friends, know that I love you. Be well, be good, and be reading. <laughs>